What up, what up, what up? This is Robin on Wheels, AKA the Road Wheel Mill, to be honest, you guys. I last left you guys with me basically sitting on a pizza. And I am currently still sitting on a pizza. Uh, I decided to break it up into another different vlog. But uh, we'll just see how this goes. I wonder if I have a grease stain on my biscuits. Biscuits and gravy. I really want to talk about some other stuff. Like the fact that in my last vlog, I talked about how I plan to uh, do the passing the motor court. Stop. Eesh. Anyway, I talked about in my last vlog how I want to, I can't think about anything other than this hot pizza on my butt. Okay, um, passing the motorcycle course. So yeah, I talked about that and how that's coming up. Okay, no one's behind me. He is coming behind me, dang. <laughs> I'm gonna pull over for a second. Bloop, bloop. No one seems to be home right here. So I'm gonna pull over for a second. Hey, you guys see that? I have no idea. Can you see that? I have no idea how this piece is gonna look. Should I open it? Ew! But guess what? It's pizza just the same. I'm going. I don't know if you guys saw it. Do you see it? Ew, ew, ew. That's as good as a look as you're gonna get. I'm not tripping on it because. I guarantee you, it's still gonna taste like pizza. And back on the warm saddle. Okay. Make sure you guys are seeing something worth looking at. Probably not, you guys probably didn't see any of that. But it's cool. Getting better and better at this every day. So, what else should, should I? I'm not sure what else I should um, be talking about right now at the moment. Um, last time I was here, oh yeah. <laughs> Last time I was here, I was discussing a show called Supernatural, where I'm pretty sure 99% of you guys do not care about. But on the same road, I don't know what it is about this road, because earlier, last vlog, you saw I lost my uh, reflector. Well, a, few, a vlog before that, guess what? I ran out of gas on the same road. So here's the thing about the run out of gas thing, right? Uh, I don't know if you can see, but my odometer is only at 60-something miles. When I ran out the gas, I ran out at 40-something, 50-something miles, right? Now, this scooter is supposed to be able to get 90 miles to the gallon, which I'll do a review more in depth about the scooter and how I feel about it and reflection and stuff. But it's supposed to get 90 miles to the gallon. So when I bought the scooter from the dealership, he gave me the impression, which I should have known better, he gave me the impression that the tank was full. Yes, it's all fulled up, ready to go, and uh, you won't need gas for quite a while. I mean, that, those were his words, right? So in my mind, I never looked at the gas tank for some reason. I was going strictly based on mileage. So I'm like, oh, I'm only at like 40 something, 50 something miles. I don't need gas. I don't need gas right now. Not realizing, yo, he maybe only put a, like a quarter to a half a tank of gas in here. I don't know why my eyes just never looked at the gas tank. I'm just, sometimes I could be a little naive and trusting. Come on. Then you pull out right in front of me. Come on. And just stop. You literally just stopped in mid traffic, lady. Man, Texas drivers suck. Anyway.
anywho uh yeah I, i'm sometimes a little naive and, and trusting right so when he said that i'm like oh it's the dealership guy he did that cool don't have to worry about gas for a nice little few days or for a week really it's supposed to be for a week at least right but no, that was not the case. I should have known better. Even when you go to an actual car dealership, the tank will never be on full. So why should the scooter be any different? And yep, that's where I made my mistake. And to be honest, Raman has been a little upset with me. He has, he was just like, how could you do this to me? We're, we're just getting to know each other. It's our start of our relationship and you neglect me like that? And I was just like, dude, man, I'm sorry. I just, I'm just sorry. I, I knew you were saying something when you was like doing the putt-putt thing, but I still didn't want to listen even then. So I'm sorry. And since then, we've been trying to work on our relationship. I got to rebuild my trust with him. And uh, yeah, and that's, that's pretty much the gist of it so far. So, no, I hope something didn't just fall off me again. No, something did not. Oh, my butt burned so bad. My right cheek is like on fire because of this pizza I'm sitting on. But yeah, uh, that's basically all I really have. <laughs> my butt cheek. That's all I really have to talk about at the moment. Dang, this pizza is so hot. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go because my butt burns so much. Bye, bye, bye. Ramesh Shana is out.